I'm late, I'm late. Oh, it's just starting. Action, 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 action. action. Welcome, Welcome to, to the 2023 Film, Film by the City Festival. We love movies and so do you. That's why you're here. We've got drama, comedy, news reports and everything in between. Popcorn is in the foyer. So are my stormtroopers. So sit back, relax, and turn off your phones. Off with your headphones, please. And, and enjoy the, the 2023 Film by the City Festival. Welcome to the 2023 Film by the City Festival. Film by the City recognises Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people are the first people of this place now known as Australia. Hello and welcome people, my name is Monica. Wherever you are across Australia, we acknowledge elders from the past, present and still to come. We extend our respect to other Aboriginal people here today. We acknowledge the traditional custodians of this Nura, Gara, Garand and Baras. Let us pay respects and acknowledge their ongoing connection through custodianship and care of Nura and their unceded sovereignty. And we'll walk with respect to you. We are grateful to this Nura. Nangamai Nini, Nangamai Bujuri, Iora, Digiri, Go, Yanu, Mirga. Can you look after your baby brother for a minute? I'm going upstairs to have a shower. Okay. No probs, Mum. Don't let him have any of those. If he's hungry, you can give him some strawberries. <laughs> that stuff is full of preservatives, and who knows what will happen. What was that? Some strawberries. Everything all right while I was in the shower? Um, yeah. 
Battleships with me? No, maybe later. Kids, why don't you go out and play before I make you some lunch? Hey sis, look at me! Could you help me get down? Can you go and help your brother? Yeah. Help! Sis, help!
Koopa singing sweetie. So hot! Hot sun burning bright. Delicious ice cream melting quickly. Autumn! <laughs> Crunchy orange leaves floating softly. Winter! Ominous clouds incoming. Delicate snowflakes slowly falling. Playful snowmen smiling happily. Welcome to the Handball World Cup Finals. I'm Elias, a former international handball coach. I'm Harry, an expert handball commentator. And I'm Harriet, a retired two-time World Cup champion. Today we have Daniel and Soli competing for the Handball World Cup trophy. Daniel has won many comps and is the undefeated reigning champion, so this will be a tough match for the mighty Soli in his very first World Cup. Before we get to know our two finalists closer, Elias, can you take us through the road to the final? There were some very tight matches throughout the tournament and some controversies too. And unsurprisingly, they all involved Daniel. So it'll be interesting to watch him play this final. Let's take a closer look at our two finalists and the lead up to the final. Here is Sully walking into the final today. He's had a rough competition so far. He really scraped through each game and fought hard, showing great resilience and sportsmanship, hitting an amazing shot from the ground to win the semis. Daniel walking in with his support crew. Looks like he's well treated and ready for this final. He's got some great techniques, but these are some of the controversies we've been talking about earlier. Some shoves and trips that have been pretty shocking and have been penalised by the referee. We hope he learns from Solly in this final. I believe we have Daniel and Solly with their family members down at the stadium who we are going to cross to now. Hello, what is your name? I'm Mary. And I'm Timothy. When you were younger, did you play handball? We used to play four square. And we didn't have handballs, we only had oranges. You must be very proud of Solomon. We are. Yes, he's amazing. He's the best, he is so good at winning. Yeah, there's no doubt, he's my boy, he's just the best. Yeah, I don't even know where he is, I'm so much better than him. Back to the studio. Wow, what an exciting day with some excited fans and family members. We are now going live to the final between Daniel and Solly, who will take the trophy home. See you next time in 2027 for the next Handball World Cup. Thanks for watching! I can be like that someday, I just gotta try. Breaking news, a big bad wolf has been seen lurking near the houses of the three little pigs. Here with us is one of the three little pigs, Perina, who saw the big bad wolf near her straw house earlier today. I was admiring my straw fence when I heard this wowing noise. And so big white. Last 
night, Prina's house was burnt down. Firemen were able to save her. Witness to the scene and sister of Prina, Prudence, is here to tell us more. I was eating chips in my house of sticks when I saw my sister Perina's house on fire. <laughs> and it went up like middle range. Piggy Prudence has had her stick house blown apart by the big bad wolf. Prudence hasn't said a word and is only able to eat cookies. Here is Pearl, sister to both Perina and Prudence. Pearl, are you worried about this big bad wolf? I am going to get that big bad wolf and have my revenge. Little pig, little pig, let me in. Not by the hair of a chinny chin chin. Astonishing news, the big bad wolf was caught last night by Piggy Pearl. All three pigs are back together. Pearl, what is your secret? I'm smart. I built my house from brick. And it wasn't even a big bad wolf. It was just a cute puppy dog. The end. Please ensure that your seatbelt is secured as we approach the house. Have a safe fly!
have been not putting their rubbish in the bin where it belongs, but on the ground. You may ask why the students doing it, and all I can say is I don't know. Maybe it's because they're lazy, or they don't care about each other's hygiene, or the environment. And look at all this disgusting ibis pool. It's horrible. We will be strong. This is our battle, and we will win. The only enemy is yourself. Croydon Public School and the world. Let's stop littering!
Our class is very talented. Yeah, what's this? Yeah. Yeah. These boys are very talented at being pretty. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Good at singing, yeah. La, 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 la. Good at staring. <laughs> we are good at dancing. Yeah. to another episode of Intermind, the show for people who have made a change in the lives of endangered animals. Today we have Xavier, a young man from North Bondi. Ever since he was a child, Xavier has been making a change and trying to save the black-footed ferret from extinction. Please put your hands together for Xavier. Xavier. Sorry, it should be any minute now. It should be coming in three. Two. Oh, there you oh, are. Sorry. Okay, yeah. Late. Yeah, thanks, Henry. The black footed ferret was a significant part of my childhood. You see, BFF didn't just stand for best friend forever. It stood for black footed ferret. They were my BFFs. Yeah, so it was only that when you were older, you actually found out how endangered the black footed ferret was. So you said in one of your interviews that you wanted to do something about this. Yeah, it's basically felt like my natural instincts to help my favourite animals because of how incredible these animals are. They need someone to save them and I was going to be the one. So what did you do to help the black-footed ferret from extinction? Yeah, Henry, saving rare species from extinction requires extraordinary measures, which I have. The black-footed ferret is one of North America's most endangered mammals. Once it was thought to be extinct, but after the species was rediscovered in 1981, concerned efforts and numerous partners gave the black-footed ferret a second chance of survival. Captors breeding, reintroductions, habitat protection and cloning have helped to restore them to over 300 animal people. Although the great strides have been made to recover the black-footed ferret, estimate that there should be 3,000 adults in the wild. To Black-footed ferret means so much to you, Xavier, and why do they matter? Black-footed ferrets are one of the most endangered mammals in North America and the only ferret species native to its continent. 
Their recovery in the wild signifies the health of the grassland ecosystem, which they depend on to survive. Without them, their health would go down dramatically. Thank you for being on Intermind. Anytime, bro. Oh man, I swear, that guy disappears like a ghost. Anyway, thank you for watching another episode of Intermind, the show for people who've made a change. Once upon a time, there were two friend groups who hated each other. And there I was, stuck in the middle. And Lucy, the dinner was so Rose, gross. Lucy, I'm so, what, what? really worried. Well, I was going to get me into so much trouble. I got oh. such a bad score on my math test. Oh, Come no. on in, Amy. Rose, you're next. Okay, thank you. Oh my God, guys, I'm so excited for this year's school photos. I perfected my smile and everything. You're up. Oh, good luck. One term later. Okay, kids, when I say your name, you're going to come up and get your school photo. Jerry. Oh, Kathy. That's, 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 that's me. That's me. Okay. okay Has anyone seen Lucy and Gigi? Oh, she the bathroom. Must have I know one of you guys did this. According to my calculations, it could not be me. Let's leave you guys. You guys do know she could be lying, right? Yeah. She could be, but she's not. Then who did this? Not to point any fingers, but on the Tuesday that this happened, I remember seeing Gigi disappear behind the curtain, like, right before Rose's turn. Me? Yes, you. Gigi when the photo was taken, so the probability of her being the person is slim to none. Well, I think it was Kathy. No, I was home that day with the chicken pox. Ugh, the chicken pox. That leaves Grace! Hey! With my photo ruined, I know one of you did it. Just admit it. Poor Rose. Wait, look at the hand. There's a ring on it. Hey, that's Grace's ring. What is going on? So that means that while everyone was going off doing their thing, Grace sneaked behind the curtain, photo bombed my photo. Then she ran back to the line, looking innocent. That confirmed it was Grace. I thought it'd be a funny joke. Who knew you cared that much? Sorry. Fine, just don't let it happen again. You know how much I love my photos. Oh hi, how's your summer been? Not bad. This lift is really taking forever. I know it is, isn't it? Oh my goodness, I just got my driver's license photo. <gasps> Attention all crew, we are now entering Earth's atmosphere. You have been selected by the Intergalactic Department of Education. Your mission is to identify and evaluate the earthly concept of childhood play as a part of childhood learning. Prepare for teletransportation. 
Are there any questions? Good luck with your mission. Give it to me! Give it to me! Give it to me! ever. Welcome back aboard. I hope you had fun learning about fun. I am very interested to hear your reports. Fly me! I have summarized all your data and my final report is Play not recommended, especially for children. My grandparents who went to the school said it was true. We have to come back tonight and prove it's real. Did you tell your mum that we're sleeping over tonight? Easy, she thinks we're doing a project together. Plan is we hide, we wait, and then we record. It's a clear night with a full moon. All our stars are aligned. Eyes, but the keys to the hall.
I'm Charlotte Jones, reporting live from Colorado Plateau Public School, where we have just received word that retired school teachers are living in school buildings. We have here head teacher Miss Smith, who vigorously denies all rumours. This is simply not true. Teachers retire and go on long cruises. Neither I nor my staff have seen any evidence of retired teachers living at this school. No one from the Department of Education was willing to comment. Now over to Stella, who is on campus. Hi Charlotte, I'm near the sports shed where a teacher has been rumoured to be sleeping among the books, papers and sports equipment. Let's see if this so-called rumour is true. It's the first shot of half time. She shoots, she scores, a bell. She goes to the second ball of half time. Oh my gosh, it's repulsive. What are you doing? Get out of my house, reporters. I'm not giving you any of my apples. No, no, no. I don't want your medals. We just want to know why you're, why you've been sleeping in the school. Stella, is everything all right? This teacher thinks I'm trying to steal all her medals. And you ain't getting any. Nah. I think we should try and interview some students and see what they think while Stella gets a teacher under control. Hi, I'm Belinda Stilton and I'm right now in the junior playground to interview some of the CPPS students. So you're certain that you saw another teacher in this very room? Yeah, 100%. Okay, let's go in. Huh? What are you doing here? See, I told you so. Meg, you do realise that there are not that teachers are not allowed to be living in the school? I'm not living here. I'm just protecting my territory from the teacher living in the sports shed. So what you're pretty much saying is that the crazy teacher in the sports shed is not the only teacher that's living in the school? No, there are others like me. Ha! I'm currently the only reporter who isn't being chased by a crazed teacher throwing stuff at me. Looks like I have to get to the bottom of this myself. Hi, I'm Charlotte Jones at the school hall with this lucky student who has just rumoured that a retired drama teacher is living in the costume cupboard. I will send my colleague now to go investigate. Hello, hello, live from the Bush Garden. Rumour has it that there is a teacher living in this very cupboard. Let's have a look inside. That's great, kid. So have you seen any other retired teachers? I haven't actually seen anything, but I've had explosions since year two. Ah! It's worse than I thought! Another retired teacher! Run! Another place is absolutely insane. Agreed. So, we are asking the nation, have you checked your store cupboards recently? Is this a national scandal? What's the problem? I don't know. Are they crazy or something? Oh well. Good afternoon and welcome to Squid News. I am Jessica Hatstand coming to you live from the studio with a very special interview with supermodel Miss Carpet. 
Miss Carpet, how did your career start? Well, Jessica, my career started a very long time ago. Last Tuesday. I will never forget it. After years of being trampled and stepped on, I grew sick of it and took matters into my own hands. Finally, when the family went out, I managed to grow some arms and legs. Then, I placed the most fashionable hat I could find, now world famous, on my head and I walked out the door to my freedom. I was a wanderer for some time. Finally, coming to a park where with tremendous luck, I bumped into Steve Stevenson, a world famous fashion designer. Stop, stop. Mademoiselle, you have great style, but the hatchet is so jaunty. And I love the way you walked, the power and the confidence that you had. I need you in my photo shoots. How would you like to be in my next photo shoot in Coco Chanel's back garden? Oh yes, I would love that. I would become a star. Lady, you're gonna be famous. So off I went. Didn't I tell you? This place is beautiful. Oh, it's incredible. Now, are you ready to work? Oh, absolutely. Good job. Little did I realise that I would be in the latest edition of Rogue. It's beautiful, it's beautiful. Oh, you're such a good model for this. Give me a smile, 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 smile. After that shot, I skyrocketed to fame and, well, here we are. And that's my story. Quite a superlative tale, don't you think? Why, yes, Miss Carpet. Thank you for your time today with us at the studio. We hope you can come again soon. Viewers, if you think you have a story worthy of the news, please call the numbers 0428 Three three seven nine eight one ASAP. Up next, what do you do if there's a gazelle infestation in your house? Over to you at the Gazelle Research Facility. Jay, 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 Jay. 
is for jumping down. Greetings. I'm the get a cake kid. Ruler of all of letters. Stick around and yet it, you'll see my special friend. I'm the loveliest lion in the world. What's this letter for? Whoa! I'm the letter M. Munch, munch, munch. This monkey loves bananas. I'm the letter M. I'm the nice guy. Oh my, I'm the letter O and I love being rockable. That's perfect. Like me, I'm a perfect pig. I'm the letter Q and I'm a fancy queen. Where's that king of mine gone? Here I am, darling. <laughs> Or the leg of big, big, boom, boom. S is for slippery, scaly, slimy snake. I'm a T, a tiny, terrific tiger. Uh-oh, looks like it's going to rain. Lucky this lucky year has lots of umbrellas. B is for vampire. Wow, I'm well in the water. I'm the letter X. I took x-rays of vibes. I'm the letter Y for you. Yell, yell, yell! Yeah, this was Zebra running in a zigzag. All this hard work being a letter is exhausting. Me too, I'm tired. Can you turn us back now, miss? Yeah, thank you. I feel so much better now. Okay, let's go back to learn about the alphabet. I wanna see you dance on your feet. I wanna see you dance to the beat. Hmm. Hi, thanks, Tech. I love my lock with the 
with inside. Do not go to touch a toy. Look at the heaty old fight. We set the timer to the scoop. The ten times that story. I'm here with Orba and Wilbur, the Wright brothers. What inspired you to fly? A tall plane. The power of coin. Once you had the first coin, how did you pick the lucky pilot? Push the coin. Really? The only way. I was doing now. What a great story. Thank you. Back to the studio. Quick flip. Oh, that's a bit risky. Head to the sport. Thanks, team. Exciting times with soccer. Quick it. Move on. Super swimming by the Aussies. Go Sharkies. Back to you. To the next story. Thanks for playing. I'm here with I'm Amelia dead. Earhart. Famous American pilot. What makes you stand out? Thanks for having me. Talk about being busy. It's a great privilege to be the Minister for Transport. First by Australia. I believe it was in 1910. Well done, Minister. With Maurice Gulot pioneering the first regular mail service by airmail. Wouldn't be in this job if I didn't. Let's use our imaginations but I think there will be planes that use less emissions and that'll be good for our climate. Pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you! That's my pleasure. It's great to be with you. See you next time. That's it today, that. Tonight. From Sea Life. All cars this week. A little chilly at night. However, we'll learn on the weekend. Back to the next. That's the end of the podcast. Thank you for joining us. That's the end of the Bye. Bye. A special broadcast. History and future athletes. Thanks for joining us. Next week, the age of a bet in cats and dogs. There will be some black bread. Tune in. You won't never miss it. Bye. Can I have a matcha crap tuna?
some amazing films. Which was your favorite? Hard to pick a favorite. Really, but if I had to... I guess it'd be... E... Well, all you have to do is scan the QR code and vote. Thank you to all the wonderful and talented filmmakers for sharing their inspiring creativity with us. Special thanks to all the teachers, parents and carers for their valuable contributions to these films. Thank you to Event Cinemas for hosting this wonderful festival. Thank you to the supporters of Film by a City Festival, those in the Education Department and even in Parliament, the, the VIPs, the Secretary, the Ministers, the art directors, the principals, the coordinators, the advisors, and of course the organizers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you to the custodians of this land who we paid the utmost respect to. Thank you.